World of Tanks Holiday Ops 2023. So this is the end of the World of Tanks Holiday Ops for 2023. I'm going to show you what was in the Holiday Ops because it was very different from last year and it might be similar to what's coming for 2024. First of all, you got to name your village. I chose Enchanted Castle, didn't spend a lot of time coming up with the name. There's three locations, the Christmas tree, the fair, and the installation with levels that go up to five. And once you get all of them up to level five, your total tier goes up to 10, your atmosphere level. I was able to get to level 10 without playing a single game. The way I did it was I went to a section called Resources, and I had the auto collector on, which cost 150000 per day. And it automatically collected these resources. And then when I came in, I spent them on the ornaments uh, using these options over here. Decorated all these trees. Everything went up to 5, and I got level 10, and I got all the rewards. So I'm also going to show you the friends resources. You can pick two friends and you can go to their villages. It shows the amount of time. I've already been there. But what you would do is you would go to their village and you would click resources and you could collect resources of four different types such as emerald and amber. Uh, but I can't do it right now because of the amount of time and the event's going to be over. And what happens is you get a certain level. I didn't do it often enough to get up to the highest level. And if you do it, obviously, you can get a prize, which looks like it's some sort of a style. So we're going to go back to my village. And I know everybody wants to know what the rewards are, so we're going to go to the rewards. So again, I got everything here without playing a game. I especially wanted the blueprints. And the reason why is because it takes a lot of work to level up tanks. So getting those blueprints helped me uh, level up some of my vehicles. So I got the uh, Sahariano, which is, it looks like an Italian tier three tank. I got these tokens. I ended up getting a lot of tokens. I don't know how I got so many tokens. But all of a sudden, when I completed the missions, I got all these tokens. Um, you get the dog, which allows you to get some extra resources. You get all of the uh, personal reserves. You get crew books. There were four uh, female crew members, plus Arnold Schwarzenegger, plus Mila Jokovic, or whoever it is. There's a couple of styles in here. We've got some medals. And we've got additional items. Uh, these are the missions. And I completed, I believe I completed Arnie's. Got 10 out of 10. So I haven't completed uh, Mila's yet. And what you do is you earn the resources. Hers is 190 for the Amber, for example. But I could pull it out of here. I could convert it. I could put the 200... Oh, no, wait. You don't want to do that. I did it wrong. You got to be careful. I screwed it up because uh, I didn't pay attention. And I did the wrong ones yesterday, so I didn't get to complete everything. You got to do in uh, round numbers of 50. So I'm going to convert this one also. The rock crystal into the amber. It's going to be 200. And then I'm going to do uh, the final one, which will be 200 also. So now when I do this, I can upgrade this. You get bonuses, which I'll show you later. You get this, which is really interesting. So I don't have enough to get the final ones. Uh, over here you see that there's a bonus that says plus 37, plus 37, plus 74, plus 148. It gives you bonuses to credits and crew experience. 
and uh, free experience, etc. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is a dog. You can pet the dog. Got to go like this. And I don't know if I pet him or not. Okay, so I guess I already pet him for today. So you get discounts for completing missions. I've already selected all the vehicles I'm going to get the discounts on. They're mostly Italian tank destroyers. And these are the rewards that I got. I got that crew member. I should have got the Arnold crew, crew member also. I don't know why it doesn't show the Arnold crew member. And you get these styles. The styles also give you a concealment bonus, which is good uh, because it's uh, like a camouflage. So then you have a shop, which is where you can buy uh, the old styles. And what I did was I actually went through and I purchased the ones that I was missing. I don't remember which one it was. I had to pay like uh, 3000 It actually cost me a lot. But I don't have enough to buy the remaining. I only bought two of the styles remaining. See that they, they uh, change on the vehicle. And then you have something called the terminal, which is where you get the tokens. When I finished Arnie, I had tons of tokens like 30 of them. I came in and it let me do 30 tokens and I won three vehicle rentals. So in order to get the rest of the tokens, I have to complete Mila's assignments, but because it's the last day, I'm not going to get them. So we already went through the rewards. Again, didn't play any missions. And this is about the event. There is also a um, daily challenge which I will show you. Well, you know what? The daily challenge might be over because I don't didn't see it on screen. I'm sorry that my connection is too slow. But the daily challenge was, uh, this is where you can buy the loot boxes. They only have large loot boxes as far as I know. So they don't have the small ones like, like they had in previous years. Every 50, you're guaranteed to get a premium tank. So there was a daily challenge. Um, maybe it's under missions. Okay, so the interface is gone from the daily challenge. But what it did was it would give you something that you'd have to accomplish, like get 1,000 damage, and you could re-roll it so that you could do it in more than one battle. And some of them were difficult, some were easy. I just kept re-rolling them until I completed them all. Over here you have the resources. You can enable the auto collector, uh, which I actually did, but I waited too long. I waited until Christmas. It depleted all of my money. Looks like you can collect resources twice a day. <clears throat> which is why I was able to get all the rewards. I had to do some manually for a few days to get the rest of the rewards. And then you've got the final conversion, which I'm going to need to complete Mila's assignments. Once I complete Mila's assignments, then I will um, have all the tokens, and you get extra things like credits, consumables, etc., free tank rental, you have to add the item to the tree for your level to go up. Collecting the resources and completing missions is not enough. You have to go over here and you have to select what you want. Then this level goes up and then this tier goes up. <laughs> so in your garage, you're going to see the bonus set you get. You're going to see uh, the tree in the background. These are the different bonuses, and I believe you can select, like if you want crew experience, you can go like that and choose crew experience. And then the final feature is over here you have an option 
that brings you to the boxes. If you own some, they will be here. And if you don't, uh, you can buy them <clears throat> with different decorations, etc. Uh, this is what it looks like when you buy them. These are the vehicles that you could win. I already have the char. No, I don't have any of these. I would say that the BT-176 is probably good. The Vipera is definitely a good tank. AMBT, I really don't remember. Uh, you've, you usually get a lot of gold. Usually the value you get in gold is worth the purchase. And plus there are older premium vehicles that you can win uh, from doing it. There's also a cat, 3D styles. Each box has 250 gold, some of the amber, and a ram, random resource. So you could uh, pay for it. I don't know if it's actually going to do it. You could pay for it over here. You could get your boxes. And if you buy the large box, like this one over here where it says 75 items for $99, chances are every year that I've done it, I've gotten more than the dollar value in gold. $99 gives you 25,000 gold. I was getting way more. I was getting like 35,000. All the premium tanks I was getting. And... Uh, it was always worth it, and I've only heard of one guy who said he didn't get anything or it wasn't worth it, and that was years ago. Okay, so that's Holiday Ops 2023. I hope you uh, completed it. If not, you still have time. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.